So the Pi 4B comes with, uh, there's three models that are out on sale. There's the, the 1 gig, the 2 gig and the 4 gig. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to download the correct image um, and then we want to burn that to the USB um, drive or an SD card. In, in our instance we're going to use the uh, mini or micro SD card that we can insert directly into the Pi. So there is only one provider at the moment that sort of has a stable release and that is Liberalec. Uh, it already comes with Kodi built into it so you can just um, uh, flash the image to the micro SD card and then add that into the Pi and it should just all boot up uh, without any problems at all. The one thing that we have noticed is the Pi 4 does get quite warm. It certainly gets a lot hotter than um, the Pi 2 that we were using previously, but the performance difference is massive. So what we'll probably do is to add a heat sink um, to the processor here, or um, that seems to be the, uh, the main uh, generation of the heat, although it does spread quite nicely across the whole board, so um, I don't believe there's you can get any damage from this at all, uh, certainly not from just running it as a media centre. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to the download section. Uh, we want to scroll down because actually we, we want the correct image, so we're going to go into Raspberry Pi 4, and then we're going to download the um, compressed image uh, to our PC so we're just going to save that once that's completed we're going to unpack the image and we're going to then burn it to the uh, micro SD card so while that uh, downloads um, we will go back to the main home screen because we're going to use the LibreExec um, image installer so now the image is finished downloading, we'll just open that folder up. I'm going to open it up in uh, WinRAR and we're going to extract that. I'm just going to pop that onto the desktop for now, which is done. Uh, close that down. So we're going to download this. We're going to just run this straight away. There's a few options here. <clears throat> so the first one, as you can see here, there is no Pi 4 available um, as the uh, platform. Uh, it's got the images, all the different images that you can download. Uh, but we're going to actually use this option here, select file. And we're going to go to our desktop where we extracted it. Now it won't show it, so obviously what we've got to do is to tell it that actually we're looking for an uncompressed image. Um, and then we're going to select our recently downloaded and extracted file and then we're going to open that up. Now the next thing we need to do is obviously select the correct disk or the correct, correct drive. So we've got our set as drive H uh, which is an 8 gig uh, micro SD card. Once you've selected it and you've double checked that you're on the right drive you can click on write. Um, be aware that it will wipe everything off there so make sure that you uh, definitely pick the correct one. That will then write the image to the micro SD card and from there we can insert that straight into the Pi which we'll have a look at shortly. So that is the image written. Um, obviously Windows doesn't know what format it is and prompts you to format the drive so you want to click cancel there. Close that down, I'm going to click cancel there and we're going to close that. So that's all there is to it. So what we've done there is we've downloaded the image and we've um, installed it onto the SD card as a bootable image so that should uh, we should be able to just pop that into the Pi and then start the configuration which I'll run through shortly. Okay, so here we've got the, uh, the Pi. What we're going to do is we're going to connect the micro HDMI cable and the power leads and then we're going to plug a keyboard and mouse in so that we can do the initial setup. Uh, I do have a, a sort of remote controller that I'm going to be using with the media center um, which is uh, uh, fairly standard.
so the build itself um, took about five minutes to just to pop it all into the box uh, it's relatively straightforward so that's it all connected micro HDMI cable, power lead, keyboard and mouse uh, comes with uh, Wi-Fi built in so you don't need uh, um, and plug in the network cable unless it's uh, you happen to be lucky enough to be near your router in my instance my router is right the other side of the room so I'm going to be using the uh, the wireless okay so first thing we want to do is get some power So as you can see we haven't had any problems at all with uh, writing the image to the disk or the drive. We'll let this start up. First of all it does a, um, a file system check, resizes the volumes uh, and then gives it a reboot. Now this is the second build for um, the Pi 4. Uh, everyone's saying it's doing an alpha, but in my experience so far, it seems really, really stable. So it's not rebooted on me at all. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we just want to run through the basic setup. So next, if it's English, um, and this is where you can set your host name. So I'm just going to call this uh, Pi 4 media okay that and then continue through the wizard uh, I'm going to join my Wi-Fi network so I pop in my password which is that one um, obviously I'll, that's blurred uh, that will associate and then it'll come up with the IP address once it's got that in this area here there we go so then we move on to next okay so I want to use um, SSH because I'm going to log on to it and do updates and things through the um, through using putty so we're going to switch that on um, what you want to do is ch obviously change the password once you've done oh there we go so we will set the password Nice strong password. And that's done. Uh, you can't use a simple password there, it will uh, not let you continue. So you need to have something with an uppercase character and a control character in. Um, and then move on to next. And that is it so that's the completed setup so we're now ready to go basically the next thing I do uh, I'm not sure why we've got weather on here but uh, I always go over and I will remove that from the menu uh, and then if you want to add your library as I do I'm just going to go and add my video storage so in my instance on a network file system it's actually on a uh, on a NAS drive so we connect via NFS this is the drive that I want and it's in public and we're using shared videos like that what that will do then it will go off and find all the uh, all the relevant information. So I'm going to say this directory contains movies. I'm going to use the movie database for the for the um, uh, pictures and titles. And I am going to just set the certification country to be uh, GB. Is that in England? There we go. Default ratings from TMDB. Um, I'm not going to have also the this option, so that is done. 
scan recursively. Yep. Movies are in separate folders that match the movie title. Well, they are sort of, but um, not not 100 percent. <laughs> Not 100% accurate, so I'm going to leave that disabled and let it do its uh, searching of the movie database. Uh, and then obviously we want to um, refresh the information, so we're going to say yes. That will then run over here. Uh, that will continue in the background, and we can we can carry on um, with our setup. Right click on the mouse takes you back. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add a repository from a zip file. So it's going to moan saying, oh, well, you're, you're installing from um, an unknown source, but that's absolutely fine for me. And I'm going to tick the button there that says use unofficial sources. And I'm going to accept um, that I'm responsible if I damage the system by doing that. <clears throat> so let's go back. So now I can install the repository from a zip file, and again I've got that on my network file share. So we're going to go in here, it's in public, pi repos. Okay, so I'm going to install the zomboided plugins directory because I'm going to put uh, um, Ghost VPN on here. So that's the repository installed. And next I'm going to install from the repository that I've just added. Services. I'm going to use the VPN manager for OpenVPN. I want to use this option down here, install. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this later. So, um, we can just go to the settings for now and cancel it because we're going to come back to that later. Again, right click to get back to the next menu. Um, the next thing that I want to install is, well, there's a whole variety of stuff <laughs> really. You can install whatever you want now that, um, now that you've allowed installation from anywhere. So let's go ahead and have a look at what other options are available. I'm going to go into public here. Pi repos. So you can add whatever uh, repositories you want. I'm going to put uh, Exodus Redux on there. So that's the uh, 0.8 version. And then once that uh, repo is added, I can go in here and install it. Yes. Go back here, services, that's right. Sorry, I was in the wrong place there. Um, so we want to, there it is, Exodus Redux repo. So we're gonna add on that. Now this needs to install a whole load of uh, dependent uh, applications, which is absolutely fine, it all works, no problems at all. So we can say okay to that. So once all that's installed, um, you can then go through and set up your VPN. So I use Ghost VPN. Um, it's really secure, and I connect to a VPN server um, in the UK, and that allows me to uh, be uh, hidden when I'm doing my searching, effectively. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, as and when the oh, there we go. They're all starting to add now. So here's a list of uh, all the videos that I've got on my um, NAS drive. Obviously we don't uh, recommend you install anything illegally. Um, just use it as a media server for your own movies that you've purchased and obviously burnt to your drives. That way um, everyone remains happy. So that's it. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll put up some other videos of some new projects that I'm planning on with my old Raspberry Pi 2. Thanks for watching.